Hello, my name is Julio Anel and I'm a naturalist at Walter B. Jacobs Memorial Nature Park, which is one of Caddo Parish Parks. Uh, welcome to another uh, Let's Get Creative workshop. Today we're going to make a flower. Uh, the materials that we're going to use, sorry, the materials that we're going to use will be white model magic, red model magic, a rolling pin, a fork, and a knife, and small scissors. Very small. Okay, if you're ready, let's begin. Okay, first we take a handful of red one, the red uh, model magic. You make it perfectly round like this, make it perfectly round. Okay, so put this aside. And now we're going to make the petals with the white model magic. Make it perfectly round again. But we're going to use our roller to make it flat. Make it to make it flat and perfectly round. So while you're flattening it out, you have to if you don't want to mess with it later with the scissors cutting and etc., just turn it round and round while you're making it thinner and thinner. Make it as thin as possible. Don't. As you see, when I keep turning it round and round, and I'm making it quite thin, so it is easier to work on it later on. Okay, this is one. So we're going to make two of these, one on at, for the bottom, one for the top. Let's make the other one. Okay, this is becoming oval, so I turn it this way and thin it out. The thinner, the better, remember that. shapeless this way we're going to put this in the middle and cover it with this but make sure it covers don't let air inside so make sure it sticks to the ball from the top towards the bottom as the air goes out. Okay, make okay, I'm just flattening it out with my finger. Now we're going to divide it like pizza slices to make them as equal pieces as possible and they need to separate. Cut all the way, all cut all the way to the bottom, okay? So it is like this. Each piece is separated like this, okay? So, the next step is to get a fork. You can use a plastic fork, but uh, I tried before, it breaks because you really have to press. So I'm using one of my forks and you're going to press it all the way from here, like this.
right in the middle of each one. Okay, so it looks like this now. And then pinch the tip of each piece. Each slice. Just make it point to like this. And here are the petals of the flower. And now we're going to do the middle part. Just get a, a pair of tiny scissors. It's like kind of like manicure scissors. And start taking first bigger chunks and kind of move it. Okay. Try to make them equal size as much as possible. Okay, so here is the first row. And then in between each, I will take a little bit smaller chunk with these white parts that the remaining white parts like this in between each of the previous ones try to arrange it that way okay so this is the second row okay and now we're doing the middle. Of course, the chunks are getting smaller and smaller as it comes to the middle. Just like it would in the nature. And they are not open really, the middle parts. Just make some tiny cuts at the very middle. Here is a flower and after it dries, if you like, you can paint it, paint the petals or just leave it like this and let it dry. Well, uh, we have completed another Let's Get Creative workshop. Here is my flower. Thank you for joining me and see you next time.